Hi, welcome to an Arduino step-by-step -step course by RoboJax. In this lecture, we are going to learn about this uh, Bosch BMP 280 barometric pressure and temperature sensor. We are going to have a look at the data sheet and then I'm going to explain the code. At the end, I'm going to uh, demonstrate the operation of this with Arduino. You can get this module as blue or purple from Amazon, eBay, or AliExpress. This is BMP280 temperature sensor module. That is the actual uh, BMP280 sensor and I provide it as a module with this pen header. I'm going to solder this on the module. Let's insert the header into the breadboard so it can be held firmly. Then insert the module on top of it and start soldering. When you apply solder, put your soldering iron on one side of the pen and bring closer the solder from the other side. As the pen gets hotter, the solder will be melted and it will be soldered properly. And continue the same for all other pens. On this side we have a label here for the module VCC, ground, clock. They, they put a line here, this C SCK and SCL, one is used for SPI, the dot label, and the other used for I square C. The CL means clock and CK also clock. So that pen is clock. This pen is data SDA or SDI, and then SCB and SDO. These are the other two pens that is needed for SPI. Let's have a look at the data sheet of BMP280 digital pressure sensor. Uh, the manufacturer is the Bosch. Here is a quick specification. The pressure range is from 300 to 1100 hectopascal. Relative accuracy is plus minus 0.12 hectopascal. Absolute accuracy is typical plus minus 1. This consumes very little current, 2.7 microampere at 1 Hz sampling. So if you change the sampling rate, it might increase. And the temperature range that this one can measure is minus 40 to 85 degrees Celsius. And here is the supply voltage is 3.6, that's the maximum we can go. But it can also typically work with 1.8 volts as well. I will provide the link for this data sheet in, in case if you need further information. Let me now explain the wiring. This is the module, I've shown it here larger, and this is the color, legend of these colors. From this side, VCC is connectable, we can use it at 3.3 volts, this is 3.3 volts, and ground has been connected to the ground. The red wire from clock have been connected to A5, and SDA have been connected using this brown wire to A4. Now the wiring on the module, if you solder your pen from the bottom and the sensor is at the top, from the left, from this side VCC has been connected using the yellow wire to 3.3 volts. Ground have been connected using the orange wire to the ground. SCL or clock wire have been connected using this red wire to A5. And SDA have been connected using this brown wire to A4. This is the page where you download the Adafruit BMP280 library. Click on this download and download zip. Point it to where you want to save it. Now it's saved. After that, click on sketch, include library. Point to add a zip library. And then point it to the folder you have saved it. I've saved it in this folder and here is a BMP280 library master.zip 
If you do not see the dot .zip, that's also okay. As long as you see the icon that is not a regular folder, it's a zip file, click. Also, you can see here at the bottom it's zip, so click OK, open. Now the library has been included. Close it and reopen your Arduino IDE again. This time, click on File, Example. On the list, somewhere at the bottom, you will find it Add a Fruit BMP to AT Library, and then there is only one example. Click on that and open it. Running this, just find out the address, make sure the wiring and everything is correct. Make sure the wiring is correct and you can get the I2C address. For that purpose, open the I2C scanner that I provided the link. You should have saved it and click and open that I2C scanner. Upload it, open the serial monitor. You should see the address. 0x76 so remember this address in case if we need it this tells us that the module is connected properly that's a very important part and module is functional let me explain the code the first line includes this wire.h file which is part of arduino library you don't have to do anything about this this is also part of arduino ide but we are not using it bmp280.h is part of the library which I've just shown you. These are all for the SPI communication. This module can work with I2C and SPI and we are using I2C. If you are using SPI, uncomment this one because we are using the I2C module. This is working and these are commented out. Inside the setup we initialize the serial monitor and then we print this text and this line is to check if BMP began and if there is no issue and the communication happened between the program and the device it will return true and using this exclamation mark we are checking if it is not true if it is not true if there is an issue this text will be printed and it says um, not valid and uh, check the wiring and while one means stay forever and the program will stay here and never proceed further this portion is bmp set sampling this sets the sampling rate of operation inside the loop we are printing this text on the screen and then we read the temperature bmp dot read temperature reads the temperature this is the actual value you can multiply it by some number you can do mathematical calculation in it but in this case we are just printing it and a little space and star or asterisks and then C so this will be printed immediately after that and there will be a new line so this will print temperature and this line will, will print pressure BMP dot read pressure and then this is in Pascal the unit this will be another line and this section will uh, print approximate altitude based on your current location and pressure this is called QNE or Cochenille elevation uh, which is used in aviation. This is a, an imaginary flight level regardless of the sea. Based on that it prints your elevation and then we print a new line. The loop continuously printing the pressure and temperature and your, your approximate elevation. And here is the issue when you upload your code first, the default code that comes with You will get this error it says could not find and that is the reason that the reason that the bmp has not begun and if you go to your or my document arduino library and adafruit library master you have to look at adafruit bmp 280.h and open it and, and this file has here at line 36 it has an address for i square c 76 hex value so the value that we have is 76 even though 76 is on the next next line so let's change this to 76 and save now let's upload the code to open it and as you can see it works and here the code is running as you can see it shows the temperature at 23.67 degrees celsius and the pressure 98,719 pascal 
and elevation shows 219. This is approximate. We now apply heat using my heat gun. As you can see it shows incorrect value now and suddenly because it was above the value Now I have updated the code and I use my, my function that I've written before for the temperature sensor and it prints in Fahrenheit, Celsius and Kelvin. You just need to call get temp and inside a single code just put capital letter of F for Fahrenheit, C for centigrade and K for Kelvin and the code is in here. The change that I made is BMP. This is the line that is reading the actual uh, temperature and we are storing it in C as Celsius and this line is doing the calculation with C and this will be Fahrenheit and if the type is F Fahrenheit we are returning the F return F which means return this value and if the type is K we are returning C plus this value which makes it Kelvin and otherwise else means return C the original uh, centigrade. It would now have been uploaded as you can see it shows Fahrenheit centigrade Kelvin and we have extra space in between each reading. Let me hold this and see. Yes, the temperature immediately increased to 27 degrees Celsius, 28. Please make sure to subscribe by clicking at the subscribe button in here. Thank you. Thank you for watching this tutorial from Robojax. If you learned something and found this useful, please thumb up as this will help my video in the search algorithm of YouTube. If you have comment or question, please post it at the comment section below. I try to answer and reply. And don't forget to subscribe so you get updates of my upcoming videos.